Hello, this is the American Contractor. It's uh, Sunday, 19th February 2012. Just want to quickly go over a few things with you. Everybody knows about next month, the Arab League Summit. It's meeting on March 29th in Baghdad. The Prime Minister of Iraq, Nuri Maliki, is inviting the Syria President Bashar al-Assad to this Arab League uh, Summit. Um, it's creating a problem because the GCC countries right now are asking Maliki to rescind or uninvite the uh, Syrian president, President uh, uh, al-Assad. So we'll see how this develops. If uh, al-Assad, President al-Assad shows up, do the GCC country leaders, representatives not show up for the Baghdad um, Arab League summit? Uh, we don't know, don't know. So it's all up in the air right now and we'll see how it all develops. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is the uh, Syrian government has blocked the live video to a streaming site called Bamboozer. It's based out of Sweden. This is the site that the opposition in Syria were uploading their content, internet content, to the uh, web, uh, disclosing what's going on inside Syria. Now the Syrian government has uh, shut down this this internet link, and uh, hopefully they'll uh, hopefully the opposition's using some other link. In the same time, the U.S. government says that they're uh, monitoring uh, Syria using the drones. I do not believe that they're uh, flying the drones over Syria because everybody knows they they have the capability capability to engage the drones flying over Syria. So I don't think that's happening. So it's good that they have uh, some good um, drone coverage using the. Um, the West allies uh, countries like uh, Lebanon, Jordan, and uh, Turkey. Iran's always in the news, as we all know. If there's a bring up Iran's because Iraq's right in the middle of all, all of it between Syria and Iraq, uh, crushing uh, Iran. But uh, interesting note in the Guardian, there was an article: U.S. officials believe Iran's sanctions will fail, m making military action likely. Um, this is not going to be good for Iraq because, like I said, they're going to be stuck in the middle, and I'm sure they're going to reap some repercussions over the uh, over the uh, Iran war. Talk about a little about Iraq and uh, Nuri Maliki. He's going to be going in about two weeks to the at Kuwait. But first, I want to talk about this: the Iraqi PMs wants to investigate uh, any kind of weapon smuggling into Syria, which is interesting because. Iraq just plays a small part in the Syrian conflict because it's borders with the country. But there's you want to smuggle weapons, there's other countries you can do that with, like Jordan or Lebanon or Turkey. But uh, it's just good to see that PM Malki is still aligned with the uh, Syrian president, um, which is against the West. And uh, we'll see how this plays out in the news. UN sanctions, Chapter 7. It's very important for uh, Iraq to uh, get released under these Chapter 7 uh, resolutions. PM Maliki is going to Kuwait to try to uh, work out a deal with the Kuwaitis because they are the uh, ones holding Iraq back from um, getting released from the Chapter 7 re resolutions. They're the only ones, I believe, uh, getting Iraq uh, to um, not not be free from the resolutions of chapter 7 so and it's very important for Iraq to be um, released from them because it really doesn't believe that I don't believe that uh, Iraq has a complete sovereignty unless they're released from the chapter 7 resolutions they talk about it they say it in the news media and stuff and it's great but technically if you get down to it they're not really sovereign until they're released from the chapter 7 resolutions so it's very important, and it plays into other things too that uh, people are concerned about and uh, worried about. And um, well, that's it for uh, the American contractor and his second video podcast. I am getting better at this, um, so I think hopefully I fix the audio. I had a couple of complaints from emails from the audio, uh, having problems with it. So I hope this all um, this video here is resolved because I did try to tweak it a little bit. We'll see how it goes. If there is a complaint, if you've got some uh, audio feed problems, then uh, please let me know, and um, I'll try to try to uh, work something out with something and do something else. But I appreciate all the emails from my first video podcast. Um, like I said, it was the first one. I'm still learning at the learning stage. It's new software. 
and um, and appreciate all the emails, like I said, and all the comments to the American Contractor blog. Um, you can either reach me through the blog using the comment section or the um, by email ac at americancontractor.com or go to the website americancontractor.com. I appreciate. Uh, I do answer every email. I answer every email in the last 48 hours. And uh, thank you very much. And um, just keep them coming. And until next time, this is American Contractor out here.